The pappy or vasi lights on the side of the runway lead you down visually to the ground, but where exactly do they take you to and how do they take you down to that spot? When we're following the lights, we usually just focus on maintaining the glide slope without thinking about where we're ending up. Let's dissect the lights here on runway 33 right at Baltimore. Though we're on a visual final approach, we can find out information about the glide slope from the instrument approach plate. This is the ILS to 33 right. The glide slope is indicated on the profile view as being the familiar 3 degrees. When we're following the lights, 2 red, 2 white, we'll be on a 3 degree slope to the runway. But where we end up, as well as how high we are at different points, depends on the particulars of the runway. Below that, the threshold crossing height, TCH, is listed at 47 feet. If we look at the airport diagram in the bottom left, we see the white circle with P in it on the left side of runway 33 right, indicating where the PAPI lights are. So what does this all mean? Let's look at the satellite view of the approach to runway 33 right. We see the four PAPI lights here, and then just to the side, at the same point down the runway, we find the glide slope antenna for the ILS. They both bring aircraft down to that point on the runway, about 100 or so feet shy of the 1,000 foot markers. They both end at the same point on the runway and both use the same angle, so they're coincident. Compare that with another runway at Baltimore, runway 15 right. Here, the four pappy lights will bring you to about 200 feet beyond the 1,000 foot markers, while the glide slope antenna is positioned a bit closer to the approach end. Looking at the approach plate for 15 right, we see the glide slope, that is the ILS glide slope, is 3 degrees, with a threshold crossing height of 56 feet, but there's a note at the top of the profile view showing that the VGSI, the visual glide slope indicator, another word for PAPI, and ILS glide slope aren't coincident. The PAPI is the same three degrees, but with a higher 73 foot threshold crossing height. How can the two glide slopes have the same angle, but bring your aircraft across the threshold at different heights? Only if they originate at the different points on the runway. Back at runway 33 right, we don't have that problem, so there's no note on the approach plate. We already know what altitude we'll be at when we cross the threshold, but where will we be at certain distances from the runway? Let's do a little trigonometry, shall we? Don't worry, there are plenty of online calculators like this one that make it easy. How far from the threshold will we be at 200 feet up? Let's think about this. We know the glide slope angle, that's 3 degrees. This will be angle A, so we put that in. Our height, and everything we're working off of here is an AGL by the way, will be 200. Putting those in, we get side B at about 3,800 feet. Now to measure this out, we need to start not from the runway threshold, but from the PAPI lights. We see on Google Earth that this will put us just across the divided highway, but not yet at the airport service roads. Looking at the approach, with the PAPI lights showing on glide slope, we pause at the point where our GPS derived height, AGL, is 200 and see that we're just where we're supposed to be. This is about 3,000 feet from runway threshold. If we want to calculate it that way, for side A, we use 200 AGL minus the threshold crossing height of 47, which gives us 153. Picking up that animation from there, we do our best to stay on two red and two white, and just as we cross the threshold, we see that we're in fact pretty close to that crossing height of 47 feet. And then the lights carry us down to an aiming point that's directly a beam where they are on the field. Of course, our round out and flare will carry us beyond that point to a touchdown zone down the runway as we bleed off speed. So it's nice to know how our PAPI lights work to bring us down to a point on the runway, what altitudes they'll have us clear at what point along the approach, and crucially, how they can be different than an instrument guided glide slope, or how you yourself like to set up and fly an instrument to certain runways. Have a look at your favorite runways to get familiar with the PAPI glide slope there, and as always, we'll see you over at the Flight Insight website for full ground schools linked right here and down in the description.